In a career spanning 26 years, she's sold over 180 million records across the globe. She's received over a thousand awards, including five Grammys, three Golden Globes, and two Oscars. She's notched up 43 number one singles worldwide and has spent five years performing sellout shows in Las Vegas. She is simply the world's biggest selling female artist. And she's here in front of a celebrity audience tonight. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Celine Dion. been uh, performing in Las Vegas for the past five years and tonight I want to bring a bit of Vegas to you. I'm also looking forward to the questions that all my friends here are going to ask me tonight. You know I love singing but I love to talk too. <laughs> you know being the 14th child of the family when I have a chance to talk I talk. <laughs> so now for a song written by the incomparable Dave Stewart and Cara Gioguardi it's called taking chances. Don't wanna be alone tonight, 
maybe this is going too fast And maybe it's not meant to last But what do you say to taking chances? What do you say to jumping off the edge? Special guest and Celine answers the questions the audience have been waiting to ask. I feel pressured. <laughs> Welcome back. And I get to talk with you guys. So, who's got the first question for me? I'm so excited. How are you, Celine? Hi, Shane. How are you? May I say, on behalf of everybody here, certainly the fellows, you look absolutely gorgeous tonight. Am I right? <laughs> Shane, Shane, Shane. Shane, Shane, Shane. Uh, now, you've been at the top of your tree since the age of 12. You've been a big star since the age of 12, I believe. And you've managed to stay there. But what do you do to wind down and relax? To relax? Yeah. What's that? <laughs> I would have to say that it's maybe cliche a little bit, but it's to kind of watch my son growing up. You know, sometimes when they say words and they don't quite say it perfectly, and I kind of write a note. I write it the way it should have been, but the way he said it, and I mark the date. I know it's kind of sound like, oh, yeah. But I find it very, like, fresh and everything away from the stress of the, the show business. Thank you, Shane, for the first question. Pleasure. Thank Pleasure. you so much. <laughs> do we have one more question? I hope we yeah. do. Hello. Hey. Hi. Apart from performing, what do you like to do when you come and visit the UK? I wish they would give me more time to shop, actually. <laughs> but I wish I could have, like, more time to kind of do some sightseeing and, like, um, my son went to... Uh, I take a picture in a phone booth and he went to the, take a little bus ride, a two-story bus, which we don't have. I'm not saying that you take that for granted, but you used to see those things. And for us to come here, kind of see the London Bridge and walking there, it's just so many beautiful things to do. But actually, I'm coming back in May next year and for touring, but um, I will make sure that they give me a few days to do some uh, damage. <laughs> Should we do some more singing here?
For another question, who do we have? Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm very well. I've been a fan for like 20 years since you won the Eurovision in Dublin, all those years ago. And I have a question for you because you've got a six-year-old son. And I'm wondering, would you encourage him to go into the music business as a singer or as a manager like your husband? I have to say, um, first of all, it's wonderful to see you. Thank you. I feel pressured. Thank you. <laughs> Why do you say I'm at the bottom too? <laughs> This is my last chance. <laughs> Please give me another chance. <laughs> that was the wrong song. <laughs> I have to say, he's doing well as a human being. He's succeeding, he's happy. And whatever he w wants to do, I mean, if he wants to be in show business, if it, whatever he decides to do, <sighs> I'm, I'm going to be his first supporter. I just want him to be a happy and a great human being. That's our goal. Thank you. And by the way, be kind to those kids, would you? Do <laughs> right. we have one more question? Nancy? Yes. Nancy with a smiling face. <laughs> How are you, Nancy? I'm very well. I'm so pleased to be here. When did you realize you could sing? You know, my brothers and sisters and my both parents, who are musicians as well, I remember they used to put me on the kitchen table <laughs> and I used to perform for them. They used to be my first audience. And a few years later, around, I was maybe 10 years of age, my, my parents had a, a little restaurant and sometimes with their permission, I was singing on the weekends. And you know what? The people were not leaving the restaurant. <laughs> so I don't know, I, I, I guess it was kind of, I was doing kind of okay <laughs> with my singing. And you know what? I decided to go for it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> 
Whenever I perform this next song, I think of the people in the UK. for the uh, next question. Hello, Hi. George Takai. George Takai. Very nice meeting you, sir. Well, in addition to being an amazing performer, I understand you're also a mean golfer. Do you play golf? Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> I love the game of golf. Unfortunately, I don't play golf as much as I would like to. Let's put it this way. And I started to play golf because my husband is a big fan of playing, and he does plays wonderfully. But to be able to go out there and, you know, do something together, just walking and playing a sport and sharing other things than show business life. My best game so far, if you want to know, it's 82. So I'm very proud. Thank you, thank you. Let me introduce you to someone very, very special. Ladies and gentlemen, joining me to sing the prayer, the one and only Mr. Andrea Bocelli. <laughs> Thank you. And what? 
Track and Celine recalls her big break. No pressure, can you represent our country, please? <laughs> well, welcome back now. Who's got another question for me? Hello, over here. But will. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Hi, Celine, how are you doing, love? All right. I'm feeling so good. <laughs> What is your question? Um, you said you've been in Vegas for five years. That's right. That's a long time. It's been a long, long time <laughs> since I sang for you. Thank you, baby. Out of my mind. <laughs> I just wanted to know. <laughs> I'm going. I'm, I'm filling up, Ashley. I just wanted to know. Uh, you know, are you going to miss Vegas when you leave, or, or if so, what are you going to miss about mm -hmm. Vegas? The hardest thing would be actually just kind of say goodbye. You know, at one point we're going to do the last show. 
and spending five years of your life with people that became your family. Those dancers, the technicians, the everybody, we became a family and it's gonna be very difficult the last show to say to them thank you, but especially goodbye. So I don't even wanna think so much about it, but thank you for the question. Sorry. Anyone else? The Aldo? Hey! Selena, come stai? Vuoi mangiare le spaghetti, la pizza e le ravioli? Dai, stai fagioli. I'm so glad that you can speak Italian. Grazie mille. Now, I heard that you love cooking uh, I from, do. A, from an early age. What do you love cooking and what is your um, favorite food? I do love Italian food tremendously. Uh, I actually am not too bad with cooking. <laughs> I prepare kind of like two different kinds of pasta, you know, bow ties and you know, spaghetti yeah, and all yeah, that. Yeah. And then I create my own sauce. But I can't just do one thing. I have to do like two sauces, one creamy and one fresh tomatoes, basil, garlic, a little wine, parmesan. <laughs> mm. uh, You're getting so me hungry. Da Giovanni, da Giovanni. May I, may I just say, quanto sei bellissima stasera. Grazie mille. Oh, oh thank you. Mwah! <laughs> Next question. Ulrika, Ulrika. Now, I was just wondering, with you travelling so much all over the world, uh, what you'll be doing for Christmas, where you'll be? I always look forward to Christmas. It's so beautiful and it's, you can share in so many ways. It was wonderful before, but now that we have a son, it's even more special. This year, we'll be spending Christmas in Las Vegas and in a more intimate way and we'll make it very special and I promise I will make the turkey look just right. <laughs> well, here's a song from the new album. It's called Eyes On Me.
much again. Well, time for another question. Hey, how are you? Thank you very much. <laughs> do you have a question for me? I do. I saw you in Las Vegas and you was absolutely amazing. And you're amazing tonight. Thank you for coming. And it's a privilege to be here. Now, you won the Eurovision Song Contest in 1988. For That's Switzerland. Right. So how did you feel winning that? You know, first of all, they, they came to me and they asked me to represent a country that's not even mine. No pressure, can you represent our country, please? <laughs> <laughs> I was very young still. But the song was amazing and the way I cope with that is that I didn't feel and I didn't want to see that as I'm representing everybody. Of course, I was not going to let nobody down. I went and I sang my heart out the best I could, and it started my career so wonderfully well. So it was, it was, it was a great time. And thank you for the thank question, you. Shane. Thank you. Well, here's a little medley of songs that you'll recognize, I hope.
Take me back into the arms I love. Classic music, and someone's not happy. Where the heck are you going to get off the stage? <laughs> Welcome back. Time for another question. Over here. Hey, Lamar. Over here. How are you? Hello, Celine. You have a, a very strong musical presence. You've influenced a lot of people musically. So, uh, who are your musical influences? Mm -mm. Great question. Actually, all my family is musical, and they used to do Stevie Wonder, the Beatles, the Bee Gees, the Creedence, the Doobie Brothers, Janis Joplin. Some of those artists I just named, they're part of my influence, but mainly, I would say my main influence are my brothers and sisters and my both parents. Thank you for the question. Anyone else with a question? Yes. Over here. Over here. Yes. Oh, hello. Hi, Miss Vicky. How are, How are you? We you tonight? What an honor. <laughs> you look lovely. Oh, thank you. You do, too. Thank you, darling. You could have some clothes for the occasion, but, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, my question is this. Thank you so much for warming up the audience for moi. <laughs> Are you gonna get off the stage? <laughs> these, these patient, nice people have been waiting and waiting for moi. <laughs> you just don't get off the stage. Come on. Uh, I'm sorry, Miss Piggy. This is my audience. This is what? <laughs> I was told when I came in here that this was an audience with the most famous, greatest diva in the world. <laughs> Sadly, we've come to the end of the show. <laughs> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for all your questions and for being a fantastic audience. I'm going to leave you with this song. Thank you for everything. Ticking of the clock I'm lying here The room's pitch dark I wonder where you are tonight No answer on the telephone And the night goes by So very slow Choose me to the bone I do 
in town and Mrs. Hughes finds herself at the centre of speculation in Downton Abbey. That's tomorrow night at 9 here on ITV1.